Right now we begin with that frightening scene on the red line. A man shot and killed on a CTA train during rush hour. Our Jermont Terry has been working this all night. Jermont is live with new details at 10. Jermont. Well, Brad and Erica, now this shooting happened at the Garfield station, but let's keep in mind many people depend on the red line station and whether you're hopping on the red line heading north or south, they are puzzled by this murder on the train. Let's keep this in mind that this all happened in the middle of rush hour when those trains were packed. At the height of Thursday's evening commute, this CTA red line comes to a sudden stop. We spot officers at the Garfield station after gunshots go off on board the train. I stop there every single day at this time. I'm, I'm scared, actually. Garfield is your exit. It is, every single day. Sarah Sanger did not witness the shooting, yet hearing three men, one with a gun, targeted the man, shooting and killing him in front of passengers, leaves her terrified. How often do you see officers on that train? Not often, actually. Not every day. Yet today, plenty of Chicago police officers on scene trying to piece together which direction the trio took off running. <laughs> the investigation shut down portions of the red line for hours. The CTA brought in the shuttle bus, leaving many riders with an exhausted commute home. 20 minutes waiting at each stop from since downtown. That's how long Treshawn Graves spent at every station trying to get to 95th Street. He finally exited at 47th Street. This is not my stop, but I'm getting off at this stop because I'm tired of being on the train. He's also tired of the senseless shootings throughout Chicago, now spilling onto the L. I love Chicago, but this got to stop. The CTA and bus unions have been calling for better protection, even requesting armed security. Right now, riders just want to feel safe. They need to put more police officers on the track, period, because this is getting ridiculous. It makes you don't even want to travel to the transportation, the local transportation anymore. And tonight, no one is in custody. The victim's age and or name have not been released. We should point out that no other passengers on that red line L station near Garfield were injured. Reporting live along the red line in Chinatown, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you.